Hey guys, so today, for today's video, I thought I'd talk about a few recommendations for being sun smart, sun safe, uh, ways other than just using sunscreen, because obviously use sunscreen, and I'm going to be talking about more uh, sunscreens later this week. Tomorrow I've got, I think, 10 new sunscreens, and I'm going to rank them, and then uh, hardest working sunscreens, that's a question I've been asked a lot lately, so... Uh, later on this week, I'm going to give you my top 10 hardest working sunscreens for every situation. So I have to put these on after because once I put these on, I can't see the screen of the camera anymore. <laughs> so anyway, there we go. How does that look? <laughs> oh, now I see myself a little bit. How does this look? So, okay, wear a hat. Sun safe ideas. Obviously wear a hat. A wide brim hat. This isn't so wide. My friend got it for me uh, for when we take our little boat out. So I look kind of cool. But anyway, it doesn't match my shirt. But anyway. Wear a wide brim hat. This one doesn't have such a wide brim, but a wide brim hat. Nowadays, whenever I walk or run outside, they make special hats just for, like, running now, uh, which are, like, lightweight. They soak up a little bit of sweat. And then ones that are made for women have, like, a hole in the top for the ponytail. Uh, my friend also got a really cute hat on Amazon, which her hair sticks through, but it's got, like, a wide brim all the way around. And then her hair, she can put it up in a ponytail. It is so cute. I have to get it. So, anyway, I'll keep you posted. Wear sunglasses. These I got from Blenders because I love the colors. Just wear sunglasses. Uh, they really, first of all, they stop you from squinting, which causes wrinkles around your eyes. Uh, and also can in the long run prevent things like uh, cataracts. And it's just smart. Wear, uh, I wear sunglasses all the time, especially in the winter when it's white and snowy out. It's even more bright. So I wear sun, sunglasses all year long, especially when I'm driving. So wide brim hat sunglasses. Uh, <clears throat> I know I've mentioned this before. HelioCare, it's the only proven real beauty supplement I believe in. Uh, most, be Pretty much all beauty supplements are kind of, if you don't need the vitamin that's in them, they're not going to do any good. So generally, most people don't need a, any supplements uh, other than like a multivitamin, which has nothing to do with beauty or anything, but like biodin and things like that. Unless you're short on it, you really don't need it. But this is proven. There's so much research on it that fern block, the ingredient in here, polypodium leucotomus, uh, helps your skin fight off UV damage, uh, environmental damage, sun damage, and can really help with your skin and brighten it up. So I take two of these every morning, uh, year-round actually, but if I'm in the sun, sometimes I'll take a couple more later on during the day. Another one, UV-proof clothing. That's kind of a more popular thing nowadays, but a lot of them can have like SPF 50 in them. And generally clothing is going to be more protective than anything, but especially UV protective clothing. Uh, lip sunscreen is important. I, I, was, I did a lot of research on this a couple of years ago. Um, if you really need like a lip SPF, and unfortunately, shocking, you do, because your lips can get really damaged from the sun, and there's a lot of sun that can damage the area around your lips. So lip balm with SPF is a must, and there's a lot now. So for a long time, I didn't like it because it tasted like sunscreen, but now there's so many different things. I mean, these are just a handful of them, but different flavors, unscented, unflavored, mineral, chemical, different things. So it's worth it, uh, especially if you spend a lot of time in the sun because... Uh, especially like men can suffer from uh, lip disorders or lip cancer, mouth cancer, things like that from the sun. And it tends to be more common with men who work outside a lot. Uh, beach workers, lifeguards, things like that tend to have more uh, issues with it. So it's worth investing in. Um, eye sunscreen. So this one goes around your eyes. Uh, Hello Sunday also just came out with one. Uh, this is the Super Goop. This actually goes on your like eyelid area. Highly recommend these. Actually, my friend has skin cancer right underneath her eye. And it's because she, she was diligent about sunscreen. She uses sunscreen every single day. She reapplies it. I gave her the EV sunscreen mousse, which she's loving. But she got it right around her eyes. And she thinks she must have missed a little bit or just didn't realize it. But her skin cancer is right around this eye. And I, I have to wonder if maybe something like this could have helped. I don't know. But you know what? You don't know what you don't know. And you know, a lot of these sunscreens around the eye area really weren't created until recently. This one's relatively new from Supergoop. So uh, that is a certain area to take very special precaution with because you don't want to mess with your eyes. Um, so anyway, hand sunscreen, obviously. I need to do that better, but anyway. Tinted windows in your car may help a little bit. Uh, glass in your windshield and things don't, don't really stop UV 
rays. Actually, there's a really good picture out there of a uh, long-haul truck driver who was a truck driver his entire life, and the one side of his face that faced the window uh, is all wrinkled and damaged compared to the other side of his face, which looks uh, youthful and healthy. So that is a really good uh, example of that. So, um, there's a, a UV phone app called the Sunburn Calculator app, and uh, you input your skin type based on your fairness or deepness of skin tone, where you live, and then what sunscreen you're wearing, if you're wearing SPF 10, SPF 50, and then we'll calculate based on using your location and what the UV index is for the day and how long you have to until you burn. Like today, the UV index here in Minnesota is 8, and I inputted it. I tried it with SPF 50, and I think it was 12 hours, and I did it with zero, and it's 38 minutes. So if I was wearing no sunscreen in 38 minutes, I will burn. If I'm wearing SPF 50, I have about 12 hours. So that was an interesting app, so it's worth checking out. Using umbrella, uh, it's a little bit tricky. Although the other day I saw a gal who was uh, watching her husband play golf, and she was just sitting on the bench with a little umbrella. Smart. Very smart. Uh, use an antioxidant serum under your sunscreen so your sunscreen works harder. Uh, the Niode Survival Zero is wonderful. This is their 30, uh, but their Survival Zero I tend to use under my sunscreen because this 30 I tend to use more in the winter, not so much in the summer when it's really hot out. Or just a good vitamin C serum underneath your sunscreen. Vitamin C is great for protecting your skin, fighting off free radical damage, fighting off sun damage. So using something like this under your sunscreen is going to be huge. Uh, layering sunscreens is another great trick. When I was in Australia, I did this very religiously. I would apply uh, my sunscreen, then apply my foundation. Sometimes it would be a foundation with sunscreen built in. Then I would set it with a powder with SPF. So I'd set it with this, so then I've got another layer of sunscreen. And then finally, after everything's set, spray like a mist of sunscreen with SPF over it. Just layering it can be so smart, but you have to be careful how you do it. You got to make sure they absorb and you got to make sure some of the chemicals match up because certain chemicals can fight each other. But anyway, using something like that is just a smart way to go. So, and then it's also like the mist is really easy for like reapplication too, which I love. Don't ever rely solely on the powder ever. Don't ever. I mean, it will help, but I would never rely on it solely because to really get the actual like 50 coverage, I would probably look like a chalk faced uh, person. It would be so, uh, so much powder. Uh, another good idea, reapply with like a sunscreen stick. If your hands are dirty or sweaty, like if I'm running or outside, my hands get gross. Sunscreen stick is really easy. And then last but not least, these are a nice little trick, these UV stickers. They kind of remind you when to put sunscreen on because the colors will change. They're not foolproof, but it's more of just a good reminder in addition to everything else. I wouldn't ever rely on this solely to tell you when, but you know, if you're outside all day, every two hours reapply it. So anyway, those are my tips. Hopefully everyone is using sunscreen all summer. And uh, anyway, if you guys have any additional thoughts, leave a comment, love hearing from you and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye guys.